Hey guys, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and today we play with automotive relays. This is a standard 12 volt automotive relay. You can get it out of about any car that's made in the last like 30 years. And it's very simple. They use a small amount of current right here to close the circuit between these two poles right here. And I think this relay is rated at 30 amps. So I could use a quarter of an amp, I think, or you know, like one amp of power right here to throw a switch to allow this to carry 30 amps for me. That way when you're using a high voltage uh, application, uh, you have a strong enough uh, connection for 30 amps, because if you tried to run 30 amps just through a switch, it would burn out. So the way that this works is you can either run this on the same power source or a different power source. I'm probably going to run it on a different power source just so I can add a little extra security to my bike and you got to figure out how to uh, hook up the uh, the relays to go. And these relays will be replacing the pulse width module in my bike because I just blew that up today. I uh, could not handle the power of the large motor that I had on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use relays and whenever you activate the relay it's just going to come on at 100% power. So you get a couple of pedals in, get up to speed and then you can click the power on and it should be fine with the brushed motor that we have in it. So, so we have a small battery right here, we have positive and negative. You have a switch, which represents this momentary switch, which only closes the circuit when I push down on the button. And that is going, the positive of the small battery is going to the switch, the other side of the switch is going to the low voltage side of the relay. The negative just comes up and around, connects to the other side of the relay. So when I hit the switch, the relay throws and it starts sending power across these poles. Now, since the relay is rated at 20 amps, we're going to say with, for all purposes of demo right now, this is a 20 amp bicycle motor. And we have 20 amp motor. You can see the positive runs down to the relay, connects in right here. And then you pick up the positive on the other side. And it goes in. And then the negative is just run over to the negative of the motor. So when I hit the switch, this circuit closes and my motor comes up to 100% power. Now to demo that for you, I've already hooked everything up. And as you can see, we have positive and a negative going up to a power source that way we can trigger it and the power source on the way up to the positive side of the power source we have the switch it's a momentary switch when I push down on the button it closes the circuit starts feeding electrons to the uh, relay we have our gauge here which the positive to the gauge is plugged into one side of that 30 amp uh, pole on the relay and the other side here goes up to the positive power on the larger power supply unit, which uh, we're not using a larger power supply, we're just hooking them both to the same battery. You can do that as well. Now, whenever I hit the switch, it connects these two poles together. It's like, instantly. So I'll show you right now, I have everything hooked up, and you can hear the relay click when I push it. You hear that? And then off. And that's it. And most of the things in uh, modern cars are controlled by this. Because you can use those tiny little itty bitty switches all over the place that only need to uh, handle enough amperage to power this relay. And the relay can carry monstrous amounts of current. If not, you'd have a whole bunch of switches in your car that were you know, the size of your fist. So I'll show you another time with the voltage gauge here. It's coming down to 10 volts. Uh, this battery is in desperate need of charging, so we will probably do that after the video. But every time I squeeze the switch, it comes on. Now with these relays, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hook two or three right up next to each other. That way I know it has it, the 
poles here cumulatively can carry more current than the bike motor will ever need. So if there's anything wrong, you know, I, I won't have uh, problems with uh, shorting these out or frying them like the volta uh, the uh, PWM uh, vol uh, voltage controller for the motor that I just burn up because all it is is a switch. And if since this is already rated at the amperage rating of my motor, if I put two in there and one of them burns out, I'll still be able to get home. If both of them burn out, I can go to the auto parts store and pick one up for like five bucks. I think the ones we're using here are uh, they're uh, RC5001 relays by the Mitsuba Corporation. But that's basically it. I mean, it's it's a really simple uh, thing to wrap your head around. It's just you put power there, and it's there's little robots in there that turn the switch on for you. Now, we'll come back after I get this all set up, and I'll show you the uh, circuitry for the uh, new quote-unquote control box, control box for my bike, which is basically just going to be a big electronic switch. It's going to be like jamming the uh, the motor right on the battery poles. Not really recommended, but hey, we're going to put some fuses in it. Uh, I have this big 50-amp DC circuit breaker. So it should work out pretty good.